Hello, my name is Tim Watkins, and I am the Deputy Administrator for Mine Safety and Health Enforcement at MSHA. I would like to take this opportunity to alert you to several recent ground fall accidents. Since October 2020, four massive pillar collapses have occurred. Fortunately, these did not result in any injuries. Another massive pillar collapse occurred in 2015. This incident was a large-scale collapse which resulted in an air blast that caused serious injuries to three miners. The collapse event in the video you are about to see is real. It illustrates the dangers of these types of massive pillar collapses and associated air blasts at underground limestone mines. In August 2021, miners underground heard the ground working and observed recent spalling from a pillar. The miners evacuated the mine and gathered outside. Approximately 20 minutes later, as mine personnel were preparing to go back underground, this happened. The air blast lasted over 20 seconds, with wind speeds reaching nearly 200 miles per hour. Windows shattered on equipment parked in line with the portal, and exterior panels were blown off of nearby buildings. Thankfully, no one was hurt. The mining practice common to all of these recent collapses is mining the floor or benching, which changes the overall dimensions of support pillars. This increases the mine height and changes the width to height ratio of the pillar, an important factor that determines stability. After the floor is mined, pillars are taller than when they were initially developed, but their width remains the same. The result is a tall, slender pillar with a decreased ability to support the roof. The stability of tall, slender pillars can be further impacted by inadequate survey control, poor blasting techniques, weathering, or geologic features. In each of the massive pillar collapse events this year, the pillars involved were taller than they were wide. Areas at risk of collapse are characterized by tall, slender pillars in benched areas, particularly those that may be hourglass in shape or have recent rock spalling from the rib. Also, listen for falling rock or the ground working as the miners did in the video you just saw. Report any areas of concern to mine management. This is a view of an underground limestone mine where a massive pillar collapse occurred, which encompassed 20 pillars covering over four acres. The collapse happened in an area actively being benched. Miners had been working in the area just days before the collapse occurred. You can see where the ground failed and the material flushed around the pillar. The slender pillars created while bench mining could no longer support the weight of the overlying rock and failed. Besides the obvious complete fall of the roof, dangers to miners include smaller rock falls and the air blast. Miners may be exposed to an air blast at great distances from the location of the pillar collapse. Affected areas can include haul roads, travelways, crushers, shops, portal entrances, and explosive magazines. In addition to underground hazards, resulting sinkholes pose a risk to miners working in surface areas above the collapse. This 10-acre sinkhole was caused by an underground pillar collapse. At another mine, a miner could not find the excavator where he had parked it the shift before. The miner stopped his truck just feet away from the edge of this 100-foot deep sinkhole. An investigation revealed that more than a dozen pillars in a benched area of the mine had collapsed. The excavator has not been seen again. Unfortunately, in 2015, three miners were not so lucky when a pillar collapse occurred in their limestone mine. As they waited outside the portal for their shift to start, the miners were struck by the air blast and were seriously injured. Some of their personal protective equipment was scattered by the force of the blast as far as 300 feet away. Are there areas in your mind susceptible to massive pillar failure? If you think so, discuss your concerns with mine management and your local MSHA office. If areas of slender pillars, such as legacy workings or benched areas, are at risk of collapse, 
management should proactively evaluate and address these hazards. For both active and planned development, mine management must assure that pillars are properly designed prior to benching. We hope that this video has raised awareness of the recent pillar collapses. This information should be used to help you identify areas of mines that have an increased likelihood of collapse. MSHA will be reaching out to mine operators and discussing these hazards and best practices with miners. MSHA is grateful for the cooperation, assistance, and participation provided by operators and miners in the making of this program. For more information, visit www.msha.gov slash pillar initiative.